Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The F-22 Raptor is much more than just an American fighter jet that is literally worth its weight in gold. It's a technological marvel designed to dominate the skies as a symbol of unrivaled air superiority. As it approaches its nearly 30-year lifespan, the question arises whether we can continue to hold its own against the most modern competitors. With the rapid development of global fighter technology and new strategic requirements in theaters such as the Pacific, the U.S. Air Force has decided to seriously modernize this icon. This is not just a routine modernization, but a bold step to ensure that the F-22 remains relevant. But before we get started, if you enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. At the beginning of the Cold War in the 1980s, the U.S. Air Force needed a modern fighter jet capable of providing air superiority in the race for supremacy with its eastern enemy. With the Soviet Union churning out highly maneuverable fighters like the MiG-29 and the Su-27, it became important that the aircraft currently in development be sure to crush all others in combat. For all intents and purposes, an upgraded version from the existing F-15 Eagle was a formidably capable aircraft in its own right. Not to be left behind, the U.S. initiated in 1981 a program to be called the Advanced Tactical Fighter, with a vision of an aircraft that would have no equal in agility and at supersonic speed, stealth capable and foremost in air dominance. There were two major competitors for this important order, Lockheed Martin and Northrop. Each of these had differing designs, but following exhaustive comparison, the prototype from Lockheed Martin, the YF-22, won out against Northrop's YF-23. Though still more maneuverable, what you wanted for air superiority, the Lockheed design still maintained revolutionary stealth that would make the jet nearly invisible to radar. Added engines from Pratt & Whitney gave it Super Cruise. Just wait, supersonic speed without the use of afterburners, which means significantly higher fuel efficiency, laid the concrete building blocks for what would become the F-22 Raptor. The official contract for the construction of the F-22 was won in 1991 by Lockheed Martin. Throughout the 1990s, refinements and advanced features of the aircraft were done in labor in turning it into a fully operational fighter jet. Advanced materials and coatings with reduced radar cross-sections, sleek lines, and internal weapons bays combine to minimize detectable signatures. Indeed, these are the novelties that have given it unparalleled stealth capabilities to penetrate enemy airspace quite undetected. With such high-angle, high-rate-of-turn capability and radical vertical maneuvers quite beyond the capacity of most fighter jets, high-thrust engines and uniquely designed thrust vectoring nozzles enabled this aircraft to be so fine in dogfighting. Finally, in 2005, the Raptor finally entered operational service as the frontline fighter for the U.S. Air Force. By that time, however, the geopolitical configuration had changed, and the Soviet Union, the reason for its creation, already had been dissolved along with most of its military threat. Nevertheless, F-22 capabilities were still proving quite vital, since this jet not only performed air superiority duties, but could also conduct ground attack and electronic warfare missions, thus offering strategic flexibility to the U.S. While the F-22 Raptor was designed very much with air superiority in mind, it often stands in comparison with three major jets. The multi-role F-35 Lightning II, the European Eurofighter Typhoon, and China's Chengdu J-20. Each of them reflects a somewhat different philosophy in design and mission, each with particular strengths and approaches to modern air-to-air -air combat. Wholly different from the Raptor, the F-35 Lightning II has emerged from a completely different philosophy, capable of conducting a wide range of missions under the multi-role design umbrella, including air-to-ground, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare. Advanced sensor fusion combined with an unparalleled network capability ensures the F-35's second-to-none capability in gathering and sharing data with other assets across the battle space. Because of this, it is very effective in terms of force multiplication, meaning that in combination with other forces, it enhances general situational awareness and targeting accuracy. In a straight-up comparison, agility to speed, the F-35 is inferior to the F-22. 
the supercruise capability of the Raptor, combined with thrust vectoring engines, allows it to be highly maneuverable and to fly at supersonic speeds without burning afterburners, engagement attributes deemed critical in dogfight and high-speed intercept missions. In stealth, the F-35 is nearly equal to the F-22. However, the latter retains somewhat better low-observable qualities because of its airframe design and coatings, making it the more evasive choice over contested airspaces. The Eurofighter Typhoon was designed to be a multi-role fighter but had favorable design for air-to-air -air fighting. It's extremely agile, which provides it with an advantageous status in close-range combats. With its delta wing design and powerful engines, the climb rates are great, similar to the Raptor. However, the Typhoon lacks any advanced stealth capability from either the F-22 or F-35, making it less effective in heavily defended airspaces where the evasion of radar systems may be required. These the Typhoon makes up for with impressive speed, agility, and advanced avionics that enable the fighter to carry out a wide range of tasks commendably in a both air-to-air -air and ground attack roles. Although it has never been designed as a stealth fighter, excellent situational awareness by the Typhoon, versatility of weapons, and good adaptability make it an airplane in high demand within NATO air forces. The Typhoon is agile, but because of its larger radar signature against the stealth-capable engineered jets like the F-22 and F-35, comes directly at a disadvantage in an environment pitted against competitors for air superiority. The Chengdu J-20 is China's first fifth-generation stealth fighter tailor-made to counter adversaries in the Asia-Pacific region. By design, the J-20 places more emphasis on a long-range strike mission compared to the F-22, with a larger frame presumably for carrying more fuel for extended range and heavier weapons loads. The range advantage would fall in line with the defense strategy of the People's Republic of China to project operations into regional theaters without relying on extensive aerial refueling. While the J-20 is stealth, its predecessor outclasses it in agility because it's a much larger jet with a very different engine configuration. The smaller frame and more compact shape of the F-22 allow it, on top of thrust vectoring engines, for much tighter maneuverability, in other words, dogfighting capability. The J-20 is very advanced in stealth capability, but the comparison with the Raptor in terms of stealth profile is extremely hard because of the very limited availability of data with respect to Chinese stealth materials and RCS design. Coming close to 30 years in service. The United States Air Force has been pushing through wave after wave of upgrades to ensure that this iconic fighter stays at the top of its game, the F-22 Raptor. But with fresh competition from newer jets like the F-35, the Eurofighter Typhoon, and even China's J-20, recent upgrades made on the F-22 have been laser-focused on addressing the jet's shortcomings and improving its edge in modern air-to-air -air combat. The first important improvement concerns its range. Designed and used originally in Europe where ranges are shorter, the stamina of the F-22 is lacking in the Pacific theater, where bases are much farther from each other. The Air Force is providing the F-22 with a Project Low Drag tank pylon to increase its reach with no loss in stealth or supersonic flight. This allows it to significantly build on that capability in covering larger distances across the Indo-Pacific, where strategic depth is key. Another massive step forward is the addition of the new infrared search and track system. That passive detection capability allows the F-22 to detect enemy aircraft via the heat generated by such an aircraft, hence providing it with an advantage to detect and engage stealthy adversaries like the J-20 without emitting radar energy. The addition of the F-22 to keep it hidden longer even while it is tracking other advanced jets reliant on stealth. Communications are also being modernized with anti-jamming capability. Installation of a CRPA reinforces its resistance against GPS jamming, while upgrades of the Link 16 data link and of identification friend or foe enable the F-22 to share information with friendly aircraft more securely. The upgrades will enable the Raptor to remain connected and situationally aware in the most contested electronic environments, even in the face of intense enemy jamming. This is perhaps best demonstrated with the replacement of the AIM-120 AMRAAM with the AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile. With increased range and a more advanced seeker, the AIM-260 extends the reach that the F-22 has in long-range engagements, where getting to the enemy first is king. 
pitted against jets such as the J-20 equipped with long-range missiles, this upgrade hands an edge to the Raptor in first-look, first-shot engagements. This will see some of the older F-22s retired, but the commitment by the Air Force to upgrade the remaining fleet indicates just how valuable the Raptor still is. Such upgrades aim at bridging the operational gap of the F-22 until NGAD, the next generation air dominance fighter, becomes a reality and ensures that it remains relevant in the U.S. air defense for many years to come. Though the Raptor's role is changing, it should, with these improvements, remain one of the most capable fighters in the world to confront a new threat and continue its legacy in U.S. air superiority. What are your thoughts on the F-22 Raptor? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos sent straight to your notifications.